Kevin from Elf Montreal. I'm going to um, walk you through my song, the creation of my song, Paranoic Intervals slash Body Dysmorphia. This one, I initially got the idea for the that was the first little melody line that came to me, and I had it for a long time. I didn't know like what I could do with, with a little melody line like that, but it was just sort of stuck in my head, and it wanted to become a song. I thought it could be interesting to have that be a really low instrument in the track, and then like a sub synth instrument, and then just build around it. So the little synthy thing that I started off with, um, I did on a little fatty. Then I started adding onto it. general I have a lot of fun getting like deep into editing drum parts and drum programming because I get really into every single hit so it's, I never I rarely just put a loop on there and just roll with the loop I usually go into every single kick hit every time I hear any sound I want it to be a very specific sound so that being said I'll show you what the drum programming is like for for this song I like to do just kind of chop up different loops and create a performance out of it. So these little things. I like just putting a bunch of weird sounds together and putting like really stupid drum fills. Like this drum fill is really stupid and fun. <laughs> Taking something that it's probably meant more for like a heavy metal song or something, and then putting it into a completely different context. So once I had the drum programming, I made this sort of melodic little bass line in the beginning. <coughs> happens, uh, I just simplified it a lot, so it's just kind of sort of pointillism approach where it's just hitting in these kind of sort of, not really random, but just like in the groove, but not really meant to be too much, um, found, like not really trying to create a foundation with just the bass guitar, but just sort of add these little sounds that are just um, added texture to the groove of what's already happening. But if you hear it by itself, it's just really simple. But then if you hear it with everything else. How how they're drugging us, that's how we are here in the fogs. Murder of faces is in the prosaic analogues. You're the only one with any shock of animation. You're the only one who's worthy of my concentration. So then a lot of times I will do two or three bass parts, uh, bass guitar parts, and then I stack them on top of each other. I do that because it's kind of just the way my brain works. It's kind of easier for me to sort of do one part, see what how that feels in the track, and then if I feel like it would sound cooler if there was um, a similar sounding instrument doing something off rhythm with that. So in the pre-chorus I have these two bass lines playing together. I think it sounds interesting because you wouldn't play it that way if you were just doing it yourself in the moment, like live. I'm not like really great at being in the pocket on the bass, so 
a lot of times, like, as I'm hitting it, it will feel kind of normal, but when I hear it next to the other part, it will feel off, but in a cool way. And I don't really try to, like, quantize it or make it perfectly to the grid, because um, then it just feel kind of stiff. So I think it's, it's kind of fun to work that way. So I always loved how The Cure has these really melodic, really um, kind of dominant sounding bass lines, and so that uh, when I was making this section of the song, I thought it'd be interesting to have that happen, that there would be a really prominent bass line that wasn't really complicated or super funky or anything, that was just sort of driving and very uh, percussive. So I did these two Ba uh, two takes of the same bass line and ran them through different effects so that they sound like this. Zach, who played on a lot of the recordings, he plays on this one as well. So this one, he didn't really do anything in the first part, but then he added all this cool stuff to the uh, body dysmorphia part of the song. And it's all these kind of like cool weird vocodery sounds. <laughs> So I think what he did actually was he took my vocal stem that I sent him and ran it through um, I guess some sort of like vocoder and made this I think maybe like reverse the vocal and ran through a vocoder and so when it's happening all together it just sounds really interesting with that keyboard part and everything else that's happening. <laughs> which works well with the concept of the, uh, the unfortunate uh, consciousness inside of a simulated reality. Can kind of feel like a robot that has no control. I know how it feels. I added this vocal effect. I know, I know how it feels. It sounds, it sounds cool in sort of an unnerving way. I know how it feels, feels, feels ugly. Reality dysmorphia. I know how it feels, body dysmorphic, body dysmorphia. creates a dissonance on the track and that it gets kind of ugly and it works well when I'm talking about feeling ugly and um, yeah so that's kind of like the last little touch to the song and I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of my song
paranoic intervals slash body dysmorphia. <laughs>